Do -do. Oh, is that a Paris in the screen there? I think so. Right, so this is kind of like the Viridian Forest of the game, in that I think... There isn't... Ah, there isn't any long grass, is there? There must be just encounters all the time, then. Who are you? You're not a trainer. Oh man, my boss is going to be angry. They're far-fetched that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Far-fetched have sensitive ears. Step on a branch that will face towards you. That's your chance. Do you think you can do that? I think I'll try. Oh, okay. What are we going to fight in here then? Bug types? Oh look, it's a fucking weedle. Don't care. Honestly, could not give a toss. That's gonna hurt me, isn't it? Yep, knew it poisoned me. Put up, I bought some antidotes. So this, this little section that we're doing here is to basically get the move cut, I think, and um, you need to find, I think, too far-fetched in this, from what I remember of Souls playthrough. I think in the original, you just have to catch one, although, honestly, that is not something I'm completely confident in saying, so just ignore it if it's wrong. Shit experience, I'm not gonna even bloody bother with Weedles, I swear to Christ almighty, they are just the worst. Not as bad as Zubats. Um, so I'm thinking I might, just to, <clears throat> just to make these fights a bit quicker, get Quilava out. Aha, I see one. Can't avoid stepping on the twigs. Seems to face the direction of the noise, so we gotta get behind it. Which should be pretty simple. In fact, incredibly easy. What the hell, far fetched? Qua! Cool. You found a far fetched! Thank you! But there's one more missing. If you step on a branch, it will face that way, remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the master of catching far fetched. Oh, look at Kakuna. Well, that's going to be better experience, so well, yeah, we'll just burn it. That's the weirdest stick stepping on noise I've ever heard. Ooh, there's an item down there. Let's see what it is. Do -do -do -do. Revive. That's nice. Oh, Joey. What do you want, Joey? Joey. Mage, howdy. It's Joey. How are you? Oh, yeah. I took down a cocooner in the wild the other day. It was a cakewalk. Well, I guess it can be helped us being so tough. Fuck off, Joey. What was the point? I'm busy, alright? Right, okay, so we got some sticks. So, where is the fire fetched in question? Can't quite see him. But he's gonna be close by. Alright. Now, I'm wondering if it wants. Oh, hello. Right, how are we gonna do this? Um. You see. If we stand on that, he looks that way. If we stand on that, he's going to look that way. But how do we get back round there without... Unless we should chase him that way? We'll try it. Oh, for fuck's sake! Bloody Weedle and Cocooners. Right, run off. Right, okay. So... Again, though, he's not in a great place there, is he? Unless... Oh, he didn't look this way. But we've got to get him from behind, and well, even though we're at the side, he's going to run off. Straight fucking back where he just came from. 
I'm the master of catching Farfetch'd. Okay, he's thinking I should have just gone straight from the other side. Oh, okay, that's nice. While I'm messing around, we get our egg! And it's a Togepi! This adorable little bastard, look at him. Uh, no. And yeah, he, I, he's a normal type, isn't he? Even though I think in later games, when they introduce the fairy type, isn't he a fairy type as well? Um, yeah. What does extra sensory do? Oh. At least he hasn't. That's not a bad attack, that. 100 accuracy, 80 power. Of course, his stats are abysmal because he's level 1. I just don't think I'm going to use him. I think him and Slash Gordon are going in the PC, which I should have actually done already, but. Uh, oh, Professor Elm, what's, what is it now? You're going to scare the far fetched away. This is great news! A Pokemon hatched from that egg! How the fuck do you know? You psychic! I knew that giving the egg to you, mage, was the right thing to do. I just knew it. You should come here and show me what kind of Pokemon it is. All the way back to New Bark Town. Can you not just, like, send one of your lackeys out and they can take a picture of it? Bloody hell. In fact, I'll, I'll give him back to you if you want, and they can take him to... Uh, is he facing back this way? No, but it doesn't matter anyway. Right, we're going to just... I'm going to chase him. Which way is he going to go? Down that way. Right. Okay. I'm the master of catching Farfetch'd. Sure. Oh, again, though, he's bloody. This is. Why is this causing me so many problems? Just die, Kakuna. I might actually use a repel because this is getting on my tits, all these fights against shite. Utter shite, Kakuna. So really, how do we get him to... He's just gonna keep going around the same place, isn't he? Pretty much. Uh, what was I doing there? Oh yeah, I was gonna use a repel, wasn't I? I'm sure I have one. Or I'm talking bollocks. Oh no, I do, I have one. Right, where are you going, Farfetch'd? You see, I just don't... Ah, hang on. <laughs> hang on. So if I get him doing that, that means he goes that way. And then can we just sneak around? Oh, you bastard. You bloody bast- Oh, hang on. Uh, ah, no. No, he's in a shit position there. I don't think you can catch him there because... Uh, yeah, it just won't work. So I go that way, boom. Hmm. <laughs> I think... Will that make him go a different? I'm so shit at this! You can't get him looking up there, can you? It's too... Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Oh my god, that repel didn't last fucking... at all! Very long, did it? What the hell? Oh god! Right. I think I've got it. He says. I, I blame we don't have it. Um... Oh, fuck! Master of catching Farfetch'd. Distracting me from the task at hand, wild Pokemon. Little fox. Oh, no, it's dead easy. I'm an idiot. Right, you do that, you do that. Boom. 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 Oh my god. That was an ordeal. I feel shame. I've I've put shame upon my family. Thank you so much. Um, you don't have a badge. You saved me. Oh, is this the boss? You call. Hmm. Far and fetched. Nice. I mean, don't you think the idea of far-fetched, running off into the forest and cutting down trees. I just find that a slightly 
outlandish tale. There you go. Got a first... No. Not first HM, you'd tool. Second. So now we can cut down trees as soon as we get the gym badge. So that's awesome. Doodoo. Oh man, let's get out of this fucking forest. That place sucks. Let's go do the gym. In fact, we probably don't even need to heal, do we? No, we don't. We'll be fine. Although, actually, before we do that, I just want to go back into this far-fetched dude's house. This is a charcoal that I made. Fire-type moves will become more powerful with a Pokemon that holds it. So there you go. Quillarva's just got extra fucking hard. So let's give him that. There you go, buddy. Will you just hold this for me? So now, even though we're still... We don't really need the extra firepower in this place. Right, here we go. Yo, Challenger Bug Bugsy made this gym. It's a huge nest of Bug-type Pokémon. Bugsy's young and master of Bug-type Pokémon. It's going to be tough without my advice. Let's see, Bug-type Pokémon don't like fire. Flying type moves are super effective too. Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't know much, but I do know that. Um, so again, they've changed the layout of this gym. There is some funky-looking puzzles to do. Uh, kind of reminds me. This one is pretty much the same as. Did anyone play Mario 64 on the 3D? Oh, not on the 3DS. On the DS. I'm sure there's a mini game just like it. Um, so if I want to fight the trainers. On the middle one. That should take me to the guy on the right. Do, do, we're gonna burn this motherfucker down! Yeah. So, did Bugsy choose. Is it a girl or is it a boy? I can't remember. But did they choose their name based on their love of bug Pokemon, or were they actually called that? And they thought, you know what, who's meant to be? And Caterpies, which I don't think we can catch in this version of the game. I really should be giving other people experience, though. I kind of feel... a bit bad. Ah, oh, then again. No, I can't be bothered. Fire Pokemon Wise in Pokemon Sun I actually caught myself a Growlithe, which I was really happy about, because I never, ever catch them that early in the game, in a, in a Pokemon game in general. And to get him, like, so soon, before I even really get into the game good and proper, I can't wait to turn that bastard into an Arcanine. If Fire Stones are easy to get in that game, I don't know. Right. Back we go. Which way is it going to take us? Straight back to where we started. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, that didn't do us any good, did it? Oh, it's the left one. I've just seen it now. Well, of course, it can't be any of this, can it? <laughs> oh, acting like I figured that out when really... Process of elimination. Alright, now we're gonna have to start messing with some frickin' levers. Yeah, that is true. That is one thing bug Pokemon do have the advantage over others with, is they do grow very fast, very early on, but I find they become much weaker in the long run. I just want to boop Weedle on his little nose. Rinse and repeat. Oh, 
Oh, bee drill. Now that's pretty cool. I will swap for this one because I think we'll get some good experience off that guy. Usually when I used to play through the original um, blue and red, I would make a point of getting uh, a, a bee drill and a Butterfree and having them in the same team. Uh, I also used to like getting the, both of the Nidorans. It just felt nice having two pairs that sort of match like that. Even though I would end up swapping them out quite soon in the game, I used to like having them in some of the early gyms. Especially considering I'd usually be picking Charmander. Oh, so close. Nice. We'll catch a Benny. Defeated. Just evolving isn't enough. No. Right, what are we going to do with this bastard? Alright, so that'll take us to the left, and we're going to have a double fight, I think. Yeah. So who do I want going with Quilava? I suppose just hop, hop to, it's fine. Get some uh, experience. So uh, we're riding on the back of uh, Spinarak looking transporters. Uh, I don't think we've seen a Spinarak yet. Do, 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 do. Twins Amy and Mimi. Oh, there we go. Spinner act. Boom. And a Lady Bird. Let's, uh, let's just burn the feckers. Alright, hop to it. Do your thing. Paralyze this mofo. Good, learn something good. Slip, why are we learning all the frickin' powders? I don't think we'll bother with that one. Yeah, because Bell Sprouts already got it. Yay! Effective teamwork. Oh, I still managed to get an attack off though. Don't poison me. Fucker! Don't worry, hop to it, we'll avenge you. It's funny that you can't really see Spinarak that well, he's, he's hiding behind the, uh, the name bar. Oh my goodness! Well, considering that poison's just gonna bug me. So, I want to fight the dude on the right this time, so probably going to change the old rope config. I'll do the trick. Is Bugsy a boy or a girl? I honestly can't remember, and I can't really tell from the sprite. Uh, but my grown-up Pokemon are pretty tough too. I like in this gym that we've seen quite a few different bug Pokemon, instead of just the same ones repeated over and over like some gyms like to do. Oh, some good, good stats there, I think. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Alright, 
So, question is, ah, I didn't do the thing, oh, they've got a switch next to them, that's why. Oh, I forgot to press it, oh, I did. Right, so that is us at the gym leader. I think we'll be just fine. I'm Bugsy! I never lose when it comes to bug type Pokemon! Research is going to make me the authority on bug type. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Please do! That looks like a girl. That is a girl, isn't it? Scyther, you have a badass bug Pokemon there. I've always loved them. And uh, Gen 2 introduced its evolution, which is Scissor or Skizzer? Scyther. Uh, although you have to trade him holding a certain item to get him, which sucks. But yeah, Scyther, freaking badass looking mofo. And we've burned him. Oh, you had a berry. Very good. Must we get a crit? We're not killing him. Yeah. Oh, oh, so close. Now. Yeah, I was going to say that usually, once you get them in the, in the critical health stage, they tend to use a potion. The question is, what other Pokémon does Bugsy have? Starting with a Scythe is pretty, like, putting your best foot first, really. Oh, so good XP. Oh, a Metapod, really. Could uh, I give someone else some experience? Spell end, why not? I would assume that your Metapod has some other moves other than Harden. I'm guessing you evolved it from a Caterpie. Yeah, okay, at least it's not going to be that dull to fight. God damn it, straight away. Uh, what else do you have? What have you got up your sleeve? Oh, Kakuna. Alright, well, you, yeah, you definitely. I would have saved Scyther to last, but. I don't know. That's just my. And you know, I like to. Well, I used to like doing that, putting like really weak Pokemon when I was going to fight certain gym leaders, and then keeping my best one for last. Just and and trainers as well. I I don't know why. It's not as if they are sentient and, and go, oh, this guy's easy. And then when I bring out the super badass Pokemon at the end, they're like, oh my god, I didn't think you'd have that. But I did anyway. That's what you do when you're kids, though. You like to, you know, pretend. Um, that is a lot of money. Cheers, Bugsy Malone. Whoa, amazing! You're an expert on Pokémon. Not quite, but uh, maybe one day. Take this badge. The Hive Badge. Um, Pokémon up to level 30 will obey. Cool. And we can cut now. You're going to give me TM89, which is... U-turn. What does that do? Oh! That's a good move. So you can attack and retreat at the same time. I'm 
So, that is two badges in the bag. Let's see what our friend says. In the entrance. Get in there. Hey, buddy. Well done. That was a great clash of talented young trainers. People like you, the future of Pokemon is bright. Whoa. Sweet. Now, uh, I, I'm i not going to bother going back to uh, Professor Elm. I'm just going to chuck Togepi in the PC for now, and later on, when I get Fly, I will go back. And Slash Gordon's getting just thrown away, because he is... He is not what I intended. He is a mistake. So, bye. See you later. And Togepi, you've got a serious nature. Mm. You can go there as well. I kind of feel bad, but anyway. Right, so we have two spaces left for more team members now. Return. So, question is, who do I want to teach Cut to? I'm thinking maybe Bellsprout. Or if Hop... I don't think Hoppip will be able to learn it. Pop well, maybe. I don't know. It's got some sharp leaves on its head or something, then. Let's see. Cut. Because so we're going to need to use that to get through the forest. Oh, yeah, hop to it, and Meryl can't learn it. Well, I'm going to teach it to Bell End then. We'll get rid of, uh, get rid of Groat. Uh, see, I wish I could get rid of Flash. I get rid of Sleep Powder as well, but it is kind of useful. And I probably do use it more than Growth, so we'll get rid of Growth. My bell end's forgotten how to grow. God damn it. Erectile dysfunction is a serious ailment. Affliction. Let's leave. So now we can cut down trees. When a Pokemon faints, it just means it doesn't have the power to battle, but it can still use hidden moves outside of... Yeah, so you can still use cut and surf and things like that, because... That would be annoying if you couldn't. Yeah, I've spoken to you before. Don't know why I'm doing this again. Right, so... I might just quickly nip back to the Pokemarts, just to see if I can get some repels. Do you sell them? You do. I'm gonna buy a few of them. Thank you. Do I want to get anything else? How many Pokeballs do I have? Ten? Potions, I think I've got enough there. Yeah, we'll be okay. I just want to use repels to get through this forest without losing my damn mind. There's only so many Weedles and Cocoonies you can fight before you go insane. Um, so yeah, we'll... We won't be coming back here for a little bit, but when we do, I'm guessing Kurt will have finished our Pokeballs. And now I do believe... Oh, I'm sh... When do you get Headbutt? I think you get it in this forest, actually. But yeah, we're on our way to probably one of my favourite places in the game. And it's... I think it's the biggest city in the game, too. There's a lot to do. But uh, you'll see when we get there. Right, which way do I go? Oh, use the bloody repels, that might be a good idea. Even though they last two seconds. So where's the trees? Oh, not that way. Wrong fucking way. Do, 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 and again, wrong way. I just ran past it, didn't I? There it is. <laughs> yes, please. 
Doodle doo. -doo. Oh. See, that is incredible. I, why don't they last longer? Bloody stupid. Elix Forest Shrine. It's a tribute to the forest's protector. Elix Forest is so overgrown with trees that you can't see the sky. Please watch out for items that may have been dropped. Will do. And an area that we could surf if we had it. Now, in this little gap here, is that going to be where another trainer that's day sensitive appears? Possibly. Speaking of day sensitive, I did forget to mention that back in Union Cave, I think every Friday or possibly Saturday, uh, you can catch a wild Lapras. Which is pretty cool. How do I get to that guy? If I, hang on, is there going to be an item here? Nope. Jesus Christ, I should have bought more. Should have bought more. Ooh. Is it, oh, it's the woman from before, isn't it? Well, we'll go chat to her in a minute, because I think the guy down here has the move headbutt. Yep, and he's actually using it himself. Not too smart, this one, I don't think. What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutt. It's fun! You can't have many brain cells left, mate. If you think that's fun. Um, wait, what am I doing? Oh shit, are you just going to teach it to us without giving us the TM? Alright. So, I guess all of these can learn it then, can they? Right, who should we give it to? I'm thinking hop to it, maybe. Just to give it another move that's semi-decent. Let's get rid of... In fact, what power does that have? 70. Can make the foe flinch, that's why it's so good. I think we will get rid of... Um, da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna get rid of poison powder. Should have got rid of tackle, really, but screw it. Probably get rid of tackle for uh, absorb or mega drain. They must learn that, surely, at some point soon. Yeah, cool. Now we can headbutt trees. Although with how light hop it is, I doubt it's going to do anything to him really. So we're just going to keep on trying until we find a Pokemon. Ooh, that sounded bloody loud. And yet nothing. Okay, we'll try a different one then, shall we? Come on, give me a Pokemon. I just want to see what kind of stuff falls from trees. I know Pinecos do. Um, I remember finding a Heracross this way, though, in the original games. Not in this area particularly, but Heracross was one I always wanted, just because of the anime. Heracross was cool. Give me a Pokemon! Is it because I have Repel on? Surely that won't be why. It's going to wear off any second now anyway, so let's just go back. Oh. Did I miss an item? I did. Didn't even see it. That was well hidden. So frickin' Weedles. Burning hell. Oh my god! Alright, see what this is. X attack, alright. Really do need to use those at some point. I completely, I was going to do it in the gym fight, but I forgot. I don't forget. Alright, 
Let's see what she has to say. Lost and all alone. Poor, poor girl, lost in the dark. Helix Forest. What, do you remember me from Violet City? Of course I do. It's hard to forget people like yourself that look so stunning. Anyway, will you show me how to get out of this forest? I don't bloody know, do I? Fine. I am lost, yes, yeah, so I don't know why you're, uh, you're asking me. Gulava, what are you doing? Oh, do you know the way? He is pretty smart. Oh, I thought you were going to follow me. Okay. Maybe we'll see her again soon. Let's try this tree. I just want to find something before I get out of this forest. Jesus Christ. What the hell is going on? I didn't think it was this difficult to find something. Come on. Dude. What is going on? Why is it so rare? I'm just going to keep on headbutting trees. I'm probably not going to show much of it, unless I find one. Okay, I think I'm nearly out of the forest, and I have not found a single Pokémon in a tree. So we're just going to try a few more times here, and if we don't find anything, I'm just going to leave. We'll find more trees to headbutt, I'm sure. They're all over the freaking place. Come on. There we go! Right. I'm satisfied now. Oh, it's just a bloody level 3 Weedle, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All that effort for this. Just die. Wasting my goddamn time. Wasting my goddamn time. Oh well. Oh, it's a Butterfree! Oh, honey, you're making a po Pokedex? You must be battling all kinds of Pokémon. Try using this TM for a change. Oh, thank you. What does that do? Taunt. Use it and target Pokémon can only use moves that do damage to you. Oh. I guess in certain situations that could be useful. Um. Yeah, I don't know what Pokémon it is, though. Route 34. Well, I think we're going to end it here for today, guys. Uh, new route starting next time then. I'm um, going to have a few trainers. A couple of interesting things coming up soon, I think. We, Like I mentioned, we're going to be heading to quite a large city. And there's going to be quite a bit to explore and do. So, look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.